Hi, I'm Jessica Beck with IELTS Energy TV and I was inspired today to give you guys some native speaker slang for talking about how excited you are about stuff. Um, on the IELTS test, speaking part one, part two, part three, you are expected to give your opinion often. So. Hopefully you are giving a lot of positive opinions, especially when you're talking about yourself in speaking part one and part two. So let me give you the phrases first and then I will use them in some examples. So the first one is, and I say this one a lot, I say, um, I dig it, totally. Uh, so this is kind of an old phrase, uh, but again, these days guys, Things that are old are suddenly cool again. So <laughs> I know I use this a lot, my friends use it a lot, um, and it was even something my mom used to use when she was young. But again, that idea of like vintage, you know, it also exists in language. So this is something we use today. I dig it, totally. Uh, so I dig it means I really like it, okay? You can also say, and this is what I use most often, honestly. Uh, I'm super stoked about blah, blah, blah. So these phrases also have the benefit of working in this native speaker emotion, okay? The, the intonation and stress. Listen, I'm super stoked about blah, blah, blah. Um, so that one's awesome. Again, it just means that you're excited about something, you're happy about something. Um, if the level of excitement is so high for you, like above the stars for you to the moon, you could say, I am literally freaking out right now. This is so amazing, okay? Um, <laughs> this was one is just fun to say. And again, I'm not teaching you anything that I don't say and native speakers don't say, okay? This is all stuff that you hear people in real life say and you don't get it in your textbook. So guys, remember, if you use phrases like this on the exam, that is how you impress the examiner. That is how you get a seven or higher for vocabulary. And as I just noted, a higher pronunciation score. All right, the fourth one, um, and this is kind of a throwback, but it's not something I use a lot, but to be honest, a lot of my friends say this. They say, um, that's totally rad. <laughs> that's rad. My brother says this a lot too. That's totally rad for sure. Okay, so all of these are used to describe things that you're excited about, that you really like, you think are really cool. So, for example, on the IELTS test, you're asked about your free time. You could say, um, you know what? I'm totally digging hiking right now. Um, this is my favorite free time activity. In fact, next weekend, my dog and my son and I are going on a beach hike. We're gonna hike from one beach to another beach. I'm so stoked about this. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> All right, so I just used two of the phrases there. Um, what if you're talking about uh, like a play you get to go to or a movie you get to go to? Um, for example, there's an author I really like that's speaking at a bookstore in Portland next week. And uh, when I heard that this author was coming, I was like literally freaking out. I am her biggest fan and I can't believe I get to meet her in person. <laughs> okay, that was a lie. I just made that up, but that's how you would use it, okay? Um, museums, another common topic. Uh, I love OMSI. That's the local science and industry museum because it has everything is hands-on, lots of stuff to play with. It's seriously, it's totally rad. It's like the raddest museum I've ever been to. <laughs> okay, guys, with those four phrases, you can sound like a native speaker and impress the examiner. Uh, if you want to get more advice like this on how to impress the examiner and stand out from the crowd on test day, check out our IELTS course available now on our website, IELTS.AllEarsEnglish.com. All right, have a totally rad day, you guys.